This is it. The newest version of the best selling amplifier on Amazon. Why is it the best selling amplifier on Amazon? Let's take a look. I think this thing might surprise you. All right, so we have this. Here it is, the BT-20A Pro amplifier. But that's not the only thing you get in the box, no. You also get a power supply and a Bluetooth antenna. And that's because this thing does actually have a Bluetooth input, but it's not the only way you can send signal to it. You can also send it with RCA. And you'll notice a 3.5 millimeter jack. That is not an input. That's actually an output, which means you can output a signal from that. So think of this like a 2.1 amplifier. So you could use this as the two channel amplifier and then use that 3.5 millimeter out to a powered subwoofer and you could have yourself a little 2.1 system if you want to. It's pretty cool. And this uses a Texas Instrument chip, which is capable of 300 watts by two. That means a total of 600 watts that you could potentially get out of this amplifier. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and take a look at the overall unit, and then we're gonna do some testing on it to just see how good this thing actually is. The unit itself is an all aluminum case, and it does look pretty nice. It has the nice rubber feet on there, which do feel fairly sturdy. And of course, it has the copper volume knob, which does the exact same thing if it was any other color, but does look a little bit different on there. And then it has bass and treble knobs. We're going to test those to see exactly what they do. It does have your power switch right here on the front, which is nice for a desktop unit because that means you can just get it right there in the front. You don't have to reach around the back. And this does have insulated binding posts on it, although these binding posts are relatively close together and that's due to the size of the unit itself. And one of the things I think a lot of people don't realize about this particular amplifier is that you can change out the op amps on here. So if we open this up and we take a look at the op amps, you can change those out and that will allow you to uh, experiment with those op amps, see if you can get a little bit better sound quality out of there, or if you just want to kind of experiment with op amps, this allows you to do it. And usually that's reserved on much higher end units, so it's pretty cool that you can do it on this one. Now let's go ahead and check out the performance of this best-selling amplifier. All right, so we have the test set up. We have the Rule Breaker Center Channel speaker that I just designed, which is just unbelievable. It can change the way you listen to movies. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I have that hooked up to the Omni mic, and I have my computer hooked up to it. Now we just got to do our treble and bass controls. After taking a control, I wanted to see how that treble response worked. And as you can tell, it looks like it has a centering frequency at one kilohertz. And if we turn the treble all the way up to the right, we're gonna get a slight incline that gives it about plus six decibels on the high end. And if we turn that to the left, we'll get about negative six decibels. Now with the bass, it's still centered around one kilohertz and it will have a slight incline or decline from there. But the bass does have a little bit more of a boost and cut at plus or minus 10 decibels. Now it's time for the amp dyno, one of my favorite parts. We're going to use the included power supply and all the testing equipment is going to be down in the description below. We're going to run a one kilohertz signal. And we're going to see where this amplifier starts to clip at so we can see the clean power. Once the oscilloscope starts to square off, we're going to know uh, where we're hitting our distortion. So let's check out and see what this does. So right about there, I'll say 15.8 volts and 4.6 amps. With the included power supply, it did about 73 watts per channel or a total of 146 watts. We went ahead and hit clipping right at the three quarter way on the volume control. So you're not going to want to turn this particular amplifier past three quarters. At that point in time, it's going to start clipping and it can damage your speakers. So, you know, under three quarters if you can. Still, this did about 146 watts. No, it's not the 600 total watts and it wasn't going to be with that particular power supply. Power supply is just not going to hit it. Now, having said that, you can get more power if you absolutely need it by using an upgraded power supply. That'll get you even more wattage. It's still not going to hit the 600, but it'll get you even more. Here's the deal. This is $100, has Bluetooth, it has that pre-out that you can use for a subwoofer, and has a total of 146 clean watts out of it. And that's the reason why the Fosse has been the best-selling amplifier on Amazon. 
Now, if you want more power, pick up the power supply. I'm gonna link that in the description. Pick up the amplifier, 120 bucks. I don't think you're gonna be able to beat this even at $100, I don't think you can beat this. All right, guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video and comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. This is Toyd's DIY Audio. I'm out.